Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2. My name is Saiken. Today we're going to continue our Rookie Balboa run, where we're trying to beat Legendary Iron Man difficulty with nothing but a pair of wet noodles and rookies. And that's really it. Wet noodles being uh, the co uh, conventional ballistic weapons. Uh, that's the best we have at the moment. But in all honesty, we're just going to stick with rookies. Today it's Operation Brutal Knife. And that could yield us quite a bit of supplies, but also uh, um, alien alloys, which we would need. Our team today is consisting out of four completely innovative uh, classes. Uh, we're going in with four rookies. Uh, it's Taurus, Bastard, A. Aaron and Russ who are going to join us two of the weapons uh, this more orange looking weapon and the DLC weapon do have scopes so I'm expecting at least a tiny bit better chances to hit sort of five to ten percent uh, better so that should help to compensate it at least a bit for the really bad aim that the rookies are having. Let's jump into the mission and see how well this is going to play out. Very good. We landed. Four hit points on every single one of our rookies. Isn't that perfect as a start? And as long as we're not triggering any enemy, we should be good to go. Uh, the timer does not start yet uh, but it is i was wrong by the way it's not a smash and grab mission it is a classical destroy all enemies type of uh, mission which is going to be interesting because that means we actually need to chew through the entirety of the enemies and can't just kind of call in for a peace treaty halfway through the mission Oh, we got spotted out right away. Oh boy. At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. Well, that's a problem right there. That is a problem right there. But we got a shot. The double stun lance. Good, moving over. Now let's try to hit the Sun Lancer down here. That's a nice little crit. We're triggering the teamwork right away. Mainly because uh, Double Sun Lancer is the hardest pack that we could get. Just from an HP value incredibly tough to deal with and we need to take uh, that peg very very serious Affirmative. Moving out. could hit the sector at 50 50 on that stun lancer which is a problem let's start with the stun lancer uh, first 50 50 missed The issue is even two grenades wouldn't be enough to kill him. We would need to hit him really good from here. I hate to stand in the open because I know that that is going to be a problem. Zero percent chance of critting him. Which means he's not going to go down now. We need to hope that he is missing. And that in return means we can try to go for the sector because it's clear that the Sun Lancer wouldn't be killable not right away we can counter the sector but my biggest fear is exactly this here okay we're only stunned not automatically unconscious Sun Lancer's got a lance 
in their nature. It's in the name. I left the Italian, uh, the Italian voice pick. It's running low on ammunition. <laughs> okay, well, that was surprisingly easy. We could jump down, but that wouldn't kill the sector. But this gets him out of cover. We could theoretically try to hit him with a flashbang. Uh, that would kill the zombie, but we're out of range for the zombie anyway. So I'm wondering if an alternative could be... move up here and take the flanking shot we got a scope trying to preserve resources at least a bit the flashbang can become handy a bit later Moving. Uh, are we greedy in yes we need loot, a lot of it. Autoloader and superior focus. Well, the PCS can't be used, but the rest definitely can be used, so that's great. Reloading. And look, Russ just going to take the high ground. Super unlucky that we got uh, spotted out and then even more unlucky that we got uh, that double stun lancer pack to begin with that's certainly not how you want to start those missions it's month number two and the stun lancers themselves are a problem but double stun lancer with the sector is the highest health pack that you could run into typically with a normal gts you would have one sergeant at this time that sergeant could give you the first squad side upgrade, uh, upgrade and just normally speaking that would mean you would um, be running with with a couple with one sergeant a couple of corporals and not with just four rookies so it's now getting to the point in the campaign where where it's going to gradually become more and more difficult for us to even keep up with the increase in difficulty. Position confirmed. Moving to position. Heading out. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. So far the first pack was good. I mean I was expecting to almost lose one of the rookies Heading when the stun lancer charged in. But it was not as bad as I would have guessed. There now. Good, moving up with Russ. Let's try to take shots. Minimum damage. But that can be 100% kill with the... With one of the grenades. We still got some grenades left over, that's good. Another minimum damage. Alright, well then. 80%. Uh, can't fully reach them with the grenade, so let's take the shot. 
All right, two down. And the next pack is somewhat further back. Indicated by him just running away, which means as a last survivor, he decided that it is better to team up with another pack. And just the length of sprinting that we have seen indicates that the pack is a bit further away. This is dangerous to leave someone standing in the open, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to run into a pack immediately. I'm trying to take the uh, the guarding kind of high ground up here with a lot of full cover. Bustard moves into full cover. Ah, wow. That's another hornet's nest right there. Good moving. The grenade is close as possible to, uh, to the point where we are going to throw it. Uh, throw it. This here will reduce the cover to almost nothing. The tree at least to half cover. Well, the tree still is not reduced below half cover. Oh, that's unfortunate. What we could do is we could hit all of them with a flashbang grenade. Might not be the worst idea ever. Trying to take enemies off the battlefield is really the name of the game here. Overwatching. We're reloading. Always use your actions. Be action efficient. That is important. And that could have meant we're going to take a massive shot uh, from the sector, but it ended up being not the case. In the meantime, the tree uh, caught fire. Well, talking about really, really poor aim, that was horrible. Good moving a bit back. And finally, that's a 50-50. I think we're just keeping our grenade for now, reloading, sticking in full cover and peppering this guy with uh, some more damage. High likelihood uh, of a um, revival. There we go. I made a capital mistake by moving in. And essentially opening himself up for a full explosion right there. And that should have been it. Okay. That's pretty much how it's done. Good old supply rate. Quick and dirty. So, time for us to land. Damn it. Can't take any promotions, but that is the important part. So, we got an autoloader. That's always great. Alien Alloys. That's the most important one because we can now upgrade armor, supplies, also good, Alarium, also good. Got a core on top of it and quite a few corpses. Plus we learned about the Stun Lancer. Alright. Successful mission, very successful mission.
and there is the black market i think fair enough to start searching for it because we can use it as a vehicle to sell loot but also to buy certain items for intel Good, so we got one scientist right there. We want to upgrade it. Uh, we're looking at more power that is needed. And that will happen right over here, soon-ish. For now, the laboratory offers us another scientist, so we're kind of at 2-2. Two, two. Very soon, um, higher learning will finish, which gives us another scientist. And then, proved to have been an important breakthrough. and then research will be kicking off. So, I think we're going for plated armor next. There are a lot of great options here. Resistance radio is definitely good, but I would like to go for plated armor, and maybe we can buy a research uh, speed up for intel which would be something i would immediately buy in this circumstance experimental weapons a bit more intel and we could get another scientist a scientist is definitely interesting but we don't have enough intel and I suppose we don't have enough intel as well uh, for the speed up of uh, the um, of the armor. Elsewise, that would have offered us uh, to do it. Sectored, yeah, definitely. Mine shields are good though, so not too many of them. Officers, we can do a hair trigger. I wouldn't want to do that now, and they are not interested in anything else. That's a good start. Got some more loot here or some more rookies on that side. I think what we will need first and foremost is to continue making contact. So let's spend the intel in actually gaining contact. And once that is done, once that is done, we'll take it from there. So got the promotion, uh, John here got plus six on dodge, which is great. Unfortunately, we can't take a follow up yet, but in four days uh, after the supply drop, we'll get a follow up. So there is the second uh, scientist available now, which is great. Just means we got to upgrade the laboratory. But it also means plated armor is down to 25 days, so that's good. Um, in the next month, we're going to see that being upgraded. Commander, we've received word that the aliens have completed a facility devoted to their work. On the okay, so that's the first facility. It is still locked. We can make a move on that facility and it is still locked, so got to be careful there. Intel almost as much as we need. Oh, we can definitely help you out. And if you offer us 76 Intel, I'm considering to invest that into a scientist. And use the rest to then um, start making contact. Uh, this here is another engineer. That'll speed up our process noticeably. Of course, it would have been even a bit better uh, to, to have a scientist, but that's still fine. And all we got to do is recover certain resistance operatives. That should be fine. That's a relatively straightforward mission against the loss. Uh, doesn't help us with the research yet. Rest here looks fine. The next, uh, the next available engineer could start clearing out these alien machineries here. Alternatively, finish the resistance ring real quick and then start with the alien machinery because we can then um, 
something. We can then start uh, further uh, covert ops. Proving ground is also an option. We have a few cores that we can uh, that we could build on. Yeah, uh, so more than one option here. The big, the most important one though is plated armor. We need better survivability and uh, more slots for utility items. We now got weapons that deal four to six points of damage, so should actually be fine uh, damage-wise for now. That's an important, uh, very important breakthrough. And once we have plated armor, then magnetic weapons afterwards. That's a we're good Techno uh, technology wise and from a research curve we're we're doing fantastic all right so that's it for now a uh, pretty quick episode i'm going to go to the next episode see you guys in two days and uh, as always if you enjoy rookie balboa and the eye of the tiger leave an eye of the tiger comment down below and see you in the next episode bye bye